Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 14 of Jewelry Detectives. I am Tanya Thrifty Treasures, and we have Angie. Say hi, Angie. Hi. And Miss Rhonda with Got Junk in Our Trunk. Hey, it's good to be here today. Thank you for coming on. So I am super excited, and I know Angie is too, to have Rhonda on today. Um, we can't wait to see all the jewelry she brought, but there's something a little extra special about Rhonda. She also runs estate sales. So she is going to be sharing a little bit uh, of insight on that and how that all works. So, Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so what kind of jewelry did you bring? Um, basically right now i'm working on four different estates i've got four that are live estates is what we call those and the last one that i had over the weekend um i had a situation of where a local shop had referred them to me because it was a smaller estate according to this shop and so i went out i gave a bid on it and um tell them, you know, what I thought was going to come from the estate. And as we're walking out the door, she says, well, can I bring some things? She said, we're doing this for my father-in-law. And uh, she said, I, I have some things, you know, personally that I'd like to sell too. I said, yeah, we can do that. And she brought out two huge, I'm talking about like shopping bags full of jewelry. Oh, and wow. so I've been selling, I sold some of it during the estate, but I've brought just some random pieces i just reached in and got some random pieces we'd be here for probably 25 days if i showed you everything that we got so i figured i'd just give you a little bit of information on um, why i pulled these pieces out to show you guys some of them are statement pieces some are fashion pieces things like that but um, any of them yes uh-huh and i'll show show those as well and hopefully we'll get a good uh feed on that so that y'all can see some of those but and uh, Princess Casserole Carla is bringing up in the chat that she's curious how you price your estates. Like what percentage uh, would they be worth okay. online? As far as the jewelry, how I price the jewelry or? That's what I was curious about, the jewelry okay. in particular, definitely. Okay. Uh, basically, the you've got a lot of tools that you use if you're an estate liquidator, just like you do if you're going through your own personal jewelry to resell online. And basically what I do, I use my best tool. I use my jeweler a lot of times. Right. Um, there's no way that an estate liquidator can know everything about everything. And so I have to be a mild expert in a whole lot of things. Jewelry is one of those. And that's something that you guys, I've learned a lot from this program. I've learned a lot from Carla, you know, different ones on their channels about um, certain types of jewelry that I even don't know a whole lot about. That's been very helpful, you know, so you always want to go there first to the resellers. But then if it's something that I have a question about, I just gather those things up just like you would. I take them to my jeweler. I've got somebody that I've been working with for about 40 years and oh gosh. I take it in and I, you know, whether it's a Rolex or not or whatever, I know kind of the earmark things to look for, but I just take it in and I just get them to vet those for me. So. Have you ever found a real Rolex? Oh yeah, we've got one. Really? Oh, it's yeah. so exciting because I've yeah. come across several of them, but every time I take them to the jeweler, he was like, "Nope, not real." No, nope. I mean, like, just tell, like as soon as he picks it up, nope, not real. Just by the way. You know? Well, this is one according to my jeweler that is real. So, <laughs> so, so exciting. I, I always take things like that. Any of the fine jewelry, I do gather up because I always like to have a second opinion. It just it lends some credibility to me as an estate company as well yeah. to have someone that has that second, you know, but I, I also on this particular one that I'm going to show, um, I also have the paperwork on it, you know, and things like that too. So we've got that, you know, from a, a second party. So, but I'll just start showing you a few things. And as y'all have got the questions, I can't necessarily see what's there in the chat, but if you'll put question and all of that, I'm sure Tanya and Angie will help me figure out what's going on. First thing that I've got here, you might want to lock it on me. Very Thank you for the reminder. Uh, trying to get over. This is a pretty piece. Uh, this is just a statement piece. It doesn't have uh, markings on it, but it does appear that this is probably uh -oh, lost an earring. 
probably silver here. I've got to test this. A lot of this has not been tested because I've just pulled it out. It's um, really pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece, but the earrings, this is the back of the earrings here. Hmm. And I think you, can you see everything on there? I love your fingernails. You uh -huh. like my nails? They're so birthday. cute. I'm a daisy girl. <laughs> Funny story, I got three different techs that I've never had before. They're brand new to the shop the last three two week periods. And they I kept telling them I wanted a daisy here, you know. And they kept putting a design and I'd walk out and I didn't have my daisy around. And I kept trying to and I think they were thinking I was saying design. <laughs> Instead of daisies, <laughs> a flower, a flower, and I just took the little thing and I made my flowers. So, but that's what this one looks like. It's just a pretty little piece, kind of amber colored. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like almost like amber and some like a blue stone, maybe or a green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of got a green tint to it. It's hard to tell on camera sometimes, but that's the back. I always pick up these because I end up breaking them. But I use a lot of these in my photographs, things like that. A lot of tools, you know, that you guys yeah. have that we've all talked about. But I, I carry a loop on a chain, and I'm not afraid to pull it out if I have to at a, a right. sale. If I happen to get to a garage sale, so we're going to use that today. I also use one of these. I like the one that's got the light. Light, inside. yes, me too. I grab all the magnets from all of my estates and I just purchase out all of the magnets from all of my estates. I've got magnets everywhere. They stick to everything. It drives my son-in-law crazy. They all live with me. So <laughs> I got all these magnets everywhere. But I've got this little one that I carry in my coin purse because it, you know, I'll just be able to drag it across something. A heavy duty one, you know, that I keep on my desk. Also for those that, do you know about these? This is the Hilton magnifier. It's got a soldering stand and things like that, but this is really good. Let me show you the piece. I don't have it put together right now. So I was using it for something else, but it's got the magnifying piece on top. I think I paid about six or $7 for this. And it's got the helping hands that mount so that you can put your oh. necklace here and then you can take pictures of like your, um, your marks, things like that. You know how it's hard to get a picture of the mark sometimes. Yes be able to do this and I usually put a piece of white paper underneath and then I put that on there and that way you get your white background but you get it up close and you're not trying to fiddle with it so that's, Fancy, always that's a great tip yeah there is. I don't have hands that work properly <laughs> second piece is just a little fashion piece again but these are things I have people all the time tell me, you can sell something that's not a name brand anything, you, you know. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, people like to buy fashion. It doesn't matter, you know, whether it's a really good piece, whether it's something inexpensive or what. If I put it on here, it'll show up a little bit better. It's longer. This is just a fashion piece as well. Mm. Wow. That pretty. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. It's one of those that really makes a statement, you know, when you wear something like that. But this came, this was all from that same estate. It had uh, one of Angie's favorite bracelets. It has one of the stretchy bracelets. <laughs> you know, so I'm not going to stretch it out because I, I don't own it. So <laughs> I'm not going to stretch it out too much to wear it or anything like that. But it's a really pretty piece. I love bracelets like that. I love I do them. too because I think they they state your personality, you know. I mean, whatever your jewelry is, that's your personality. So Jill would that like to know where to buy the helping hands at. Maybe you can put a link to that uh I will tool. do that. Yeah, just remind me yes. to do that, Tanya, because um, okay. I'm writing post it down. A note lately. <laughs> <laughs> me just too. Helping hand. <laughs> so. And then these are the earrings that were in the bag with it. If I can hold it up to where you now, can this see. is all of the lady that lady she brought her yes. jewelry. Every okay. every piece that I'm showing you today came from there, with the exception, I think, of one, and I'll let you know on that one. But this has the dangle earrings, you know, so you can see how long they are. 
They're real long. Real long. So you yeah, would be making gorgeous. a big statement <laughs> with those. <laughs> but those are a cool piece. I pulled those out because you just don't need to pass by something like that. You'd be surprised, especially if you have uh, matching pieces like that to sell it in a collection you know and you put your word the keywords collection things like that you know doesn't matter whether it's marked or not um i'm going to throw this up here because people have been asking me about this and i would save it for the end but i don't know how soon our end is going to come and i want to make sure that i show this <laughs> she brought this out and that's when i said yeah i want this estate uh, this Let's see if I can hold it. It's a oh, beautiful oh my gosh. Now that's a squash wow. blossom necklace, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And I asked her what the history was on this. Can you hold it a little higher and more in the center? Yeah. It's hard for me to tell because I can't see it on my screen. So just let there, me know. Is that closer? Man, that's awesome. Yeah, that's it's all marked. Yes. Um, I found it and I don't guarantee that I can find it again, but it was hallmarked on here too. Um, she actually has the paperwork on this. I have never There's had a paperwork. Paper. Yes, she's got paperwork on this. Her aunt bought this now, not you know, original paperwork, but she's got paperwork where she had a jeweler look at it and authenticate and all of that. Beautiful piece. I don't know if I'd be able to find the hallmark because it was actually on one of the beads, which was kind of weird. And that's why I really papers on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I have to say, I was going to wait yes. till later, but I'm going to have to show you guys now. Um, so remember I got the three jewelry jars last Friday, right? Well, yeah. There was um, two pieces in there that I wanted to share, but now that you're talking about this, I have to show mine too. Yes, do <laughs> please. So I am super duper excited, you guys. This was in the jewelry jar. Oh, wow. Oh, how awesome is that? Oh, very cool. Yes. And I, I couldn't know. find. I feel bad. <laughs> I couldn't find any kind of marks on this one at all. But now with you saying it was on the bead, I'm curious and have to go look at the beads. Normally it's not. It's going to be on your bottom piece and you're going to have some type of hallmark. But they did tell me and i didn't know about this this was something i learned you don't always have these marked of course because of where they came from but they will mark them with some kind of little uh divot you know depending on where it is and that will tell you what region it came from okay this one came amazing. outside T tucson arizona and it was probably about uh the mid 40s according wow. to you know the papers wow. that i got so it's going to be a neat piece. It was appraised for around fifteen hundred at the time. That's been about. 10 I years know, ago. right? They're going to go for a lot of money for sure. So I have to say thank you to Layden Miller. He sent a four dollars super chat. Thank you so uh -huh. much. And I did unlock the screen from Rhonda. You guys, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to show this piece one more time, and then we're going to get back to Rhonda. So this is it because they said they couldn't see it. I don't see it still. It's not on you now. It's not? It's not on you. No. Let me lock it on me. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, that's it's so it's huge. It is, yeah. And then this is this was in there too. I couldn't believe it. And that oh my is, word. That <laughs> I love that with the that's different awesome. colors. Now that this is one, awesome. this one is marked. So this one is marked sterling on one side, and then on the other side it says M Morgan. Hmm. Uh, okay. So I cannot believe I, we're in a jewelry jar. I know, right? I mean, listen, I've been doing some research. I'm going to ask for a ton of money, and I can wait five years if I have to. <laughs> you, you betcha. Let me tell I you mean, what. Um, my, my, uh, the daughter-in-law of the state owner is kind of the executor. She's the one that's been doing on this, and her words were, "This just wouldn't be me." You know, and so that's probably the person that filled that jar said, oh, this is not me. Oh, my goodness. Why would anybody wear that? Right, like hideous or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's a great piece. Oh, that's that's awesome. awesome. I want to see where you go with that. That's awesome. I want to yeah. see where you go with yours. So are you going to be selling that online or are you going to sell it at the estate sale? 
Um, I will probably sell that online actually it's going to probably yes. even with these and everything it's going to sell for more i do on occasion i can do uh auctions on my facebook site i've got around five thousand followers on my facebook site same name got junk in our trunk and i think tanya has the link underneath um but i do auctions on there as well you know and uh, so we might do something like that i haven't really decided out this is the same estate that i got an elvis presley authentic elvis presley signature in as well so oh. we'll be auctioning probably both of those items because those are going to be some of the higher dollar that they've got so so when she brought out all of this jewelry to you did she give you any kind of idea of what kind of price she was expecting to get for all of it no she is a peach to work with let me put it that way she she <laughs> understands that she's hiring somebody she's a business lady she's she knows you know that that you can't get full out retail for things now i do run into that a whole lot on my estate sales and i always ask them two questions when i go in and I look at the contents and all that. And that would be the same thing, even if I was just looking at jewelry or something like that to sell for somebody on consignment, which I do a little bit of that as well. I go in and I ask them, do you want to monetize it the most? What's your priority? Do you want to monetize or do you want to get rid of the item? Because that's two important questions that they need to ask themselves. And if they're ready to get rid of the item, then they have to trust me to go on and get it sold. But um, bottom line of what she said, she told me a few things like um, I'll show you a ring in just a minute. Um, that was some of her personal stuff. Some belonged to the aunt that had the squash blossom necklace. Um, some was probably from a variety of other situations or her mother-in-law's jewelry and things like that. So some were her personal items, but no, she just handed me bags and bags and bags and so bags. Awesome. Uh, so yeah. exciting for you to go through, right? <laughs> Do what? So exciting for you to get to go through all of that. Oh, too. I know. It, it really is. It really is. I'm excited. I've, I've, have, I've just barely scratched the surface because I've been getting rid of her uh beds and chest of drawers and all of that <laughs> last weekend, now it's time for the good stuff it's time for the good stuff that's right uh -huh. the next item that i've got this is a ring that she gave us that's She's awesome. with it's aquamarine very bright color yeah oh, it's, love it. it's a beautiful ring this one actually had an appraised value of around four thousand. oh my god it's a gold setting huh it is yeah Oh yeah. my gosh, I would totally wear something that. like that. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can. I don't I've never know. seen an aqu aquamarine that is that color mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. I've it's never seen one that big. Very pale. It's huge. <laughs> well, I mean, you can tell, you know, by the end of my finger. $4,000? Did you take that mm -hmm. one to your jeweler? No, I'm going to. Now, that's been years ago. And of course, that was for insurance purposes. So you have to look at it that way, you know. Yes. It's got a mark in here. And to tell you the truth, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it in the crazy light that we've got. We've got overcast weather here. and uh, But it's got a mark on it. But that's the side. I don't know if you can see that up high enough. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful rain. Another ring that I uh, pulled out of there was this one. I love this. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Ram. gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I want this one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she sees yeah. this video. I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, My grandkids call me queen of the universe. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know. <laughs> that would be appropriate. Now, I'm is trying that to Jade? That's what I'm trying to determine. I, it almost looks like rubies and jade. Might I be some seeds in there. Emeralds, it looked like to me. Couldn't see real good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's jade. Jade. Mm -hmm. I don't oh. know. Well, let's see. Well, that, what does that do? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. That, mm -hmm. Can you see it better there? Maybe back a little. See, on top, I don't know what this is on top. It looks like a little dragon. So that made me think, Jade. Oh, oh okay. Right. On that one. Now, is there another stone there besides the jade? It's kind of hard to see. There's a little pearl. Let's see. I don't know if I can. On show each side. You. 
Got a little pearl looking one. We've got the jade, which is the green. That up high enough. You'll just have to Could tell it maybe me. Maybe be like a garnet. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it looks like to me. A garnet, and then we've got we've got some chips in there too. Oh, let's see. Right here in the center, you're going to see some chips in the center. Mm -hmm. Very tiny. So it'll either be a yeah, it'll either be a diamond chip, which it could be, you know, on something like that. And it is Mark 14 carat as well. Oh, that's really it. What is the matter with this woman? Why is she getting rid of this jewelry? <laughs> She's not a jewelry person. Tanya, not everybody she, can be like us, you know. Well, she's not a money person then. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they want money for the state. I don't, can you see that mark? It's got a mark there. It's 14 karat. Let's see. Let's try this again. I don't know if you can. There. Does that show it? It's right there in the corner, right before the, the top of the ring. It's got it right in there, but it's a 14 karat on that oh, i guess so you'll have to trust it. we can't see it next one is something simple that it that you see all the time at uh state sales you know things like that the old spoon ring oh yeah mm -hmm. okay. these sell really well i don't know if you've sold any on the on ebay on the internet or anything but i usually will sell these pretty quickly people still like these yeah, I've sold one of my antique booth before. Uh huh. They, really they don't sell necessarily for high dollars, so a lot of times I'll put a couple of pieces in there and I'll make it a collection. But of course, it's marked, it's sterling. Yeah. I have to say thank you to Lauren Cole City Loot. Thank you for the two dollars super chat. Now, this is something. Be, Go ahead, Tony. I was just going to say I would be interested to know, like. You'll have to keep us posted like what what this lot ends up selling for everything yeah. yeah i'll try and do that i'll try and do a video or two you know as i sell pieces of of the collection and things because it's going to take a while it's a lot of it so. right I tell right. Russell, you aren't in a hurry are you <laughs> now this is an item yeah. that did not come from this estate but this was something i did buy at an estate sale and i, I bought a collection of three of these um, I consider this jewelry because it was something that was that was used, you know, that way. But it's a dance purse. I don't know how many out there have seen these. Probably Carla, I'm sure, has run into them. And this one needs to be repaired. This is that's the reason that it didn't sell. But you put your coins in here. Oh, that is so neat. Isn't that neat? It had the compact. The compact is missing. And then it had this that was the flap for like your dance cards, anything like that. And then of course they had the chain mm -hmm. and this is all sterling. And usually wow. it's uh, gold inside like this and then it's sterling on the outside on, on most of them. This one, let's see if it was marked, but they consider that jewelry, you know, technically it's jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, well, this one's monogrammed here at the top. I sold one what? that was from 1890. So wow, I what did you sell it for? Um, it was around 225, I think, something like that. And I paid a dollar for it. What <laughs> kind of uh, you call it? What'd you say? A flapper, flapper purse. It's actually a ridicule, basically, is what they call it. But they call it a dance ridicule, a dance wrist purse. And usually they just put it over their wrist or hide it in their sleeve or something along those lines. Some of them will come with longer chains to where they would use it, you know, almost as a necklace. Wow. But you always want to look for things like that as well. See, in my shop, I had this one priced at $80 when I owned an antiques and collectibles shop. So that was a good deal where wow. a reseller could come in buy it and resell it. Definitely. I have to say thank you to Lonnie Garage Flips. He sent a $5 super chat and he says, always enjoy this show. And I don't even like jewelry. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> we love Lonnie. Yes, we do. I'm mm -hmm. hoping to see Lonnie soon. He's supposed to come up this way for a, for the Highway 70 um, yard sale. 
Yeah, he was telling me about that. That's going to be exciting. You guys have got to make some video about that. I want to see it. That'd be I'll, I will make him make some video. <laughs> I look forward to seeing that. Did we have any questions anybody had? Yeah, Carla has a good question. I was wondering the same thing. What's a dance card? Like you said, a place where the cards go and the little purse. Anytime uh, back at, yeah, anytime in the, like the 1800s to early 1900s or whatever, if a man decided that he wanted to dance with a woman, she had a dance card that she filled out. Okay. Oh. And just go back and like, yes, yes. <laughs> and so she had so many slots and there would be so many dances that were done during a banquet or, you know, some type of uh, debutante party or something like that. And she would fill out the da dance card. The man would fill it in and she would keep her dance card in there, you know, and so she would know who got the next dance. So that is so interesting. Prim and proper, especially in the South. So. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is one. I thought this was interesting. This is a neat, neat piece. Is that up high enough or too low? Oh, yeah. That's, that looks Asian is, also. It's almost, it's an Egyptian uh, Isis, basically, is what it is. You see the wings that are on the side here. Let's see if I can turn it. This is the wings. And then you can see the little Egyptian face right in here. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Her aunt had very eclectic taste. It was all over the place. You know, some of this, of course, has been my client's uh, items or whatever, but she had any of this or the, the squash blossom necklace, you know, any of this was hers. Um, this is hard. You think she gained yeah. from traveling a lot? I'm wondering if maybe, yeah, I need to ask because that would be, you know, that would lend some story to everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, let's see if we can find, I don't know if I, if you can see it on here, if it's too much glare, but there is a mark right in here, right in the top. I can see something, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's sterling, it's marked sterling inside. But I thought that was a neat ring. That big one that people oh, like. Is all of the jewelry her aunt's? No, it's her. It's a mixture of her own personal jewelry, her okay, aunts, that's, that's and then okay. her mother-in-law is who we actually did the state concerning. You know, okay, was for the mother-in-law. This is one. I feel oh. like it's probably hers. I don't know. So it pretty. appears to be a yellow topaz. Mm -hmm. Of course, these are ones that I'll just take to my jeweler and just have have them verified. Um, I've seen that setting many times before. Have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that type of setting. It's pretty. My mother was born in November and she loves the yellow topaz. Yeah, it's more you know what? They're like the older I get, I'm not scared to wear like the big jewelry. Like I love those big rings like uh -uh. that. I just don't have the clothing to match. You know, I'm casual. <laughs> uh, T-shirt and jeans with this big old fancy jewelry. It just doesn't look it right. Does, no, it, it, that all goes together. We're hippies. We know. You know we can wear. <laughs> we wear our jewelry, and it wears us. That's what we do. Right. <laughs> Here's another. This one is a pave band that up high enough too low oh that's pretty that's perfect isn't that pretty a lot mm -hmm. of times they'll have like a leopard or a cougar occasionally um i've seen some with elephants they're usually slinking type animals something that's long to where it can go around the ring but it's pave or meaning paved and you'll see right inside here uh, where it looks almost like asphalt are paving mm -hmm. right in between those are not that? stuck. P A V E and then it has an accent mark. Pave. So any it's kind of thing that design looks like silver and gold is called Pave. If it has, you see where the silver is, can you tell that it's textured? Can you tell that that looks textured almost like my top? It's tiny mm -hmm. stones all all together. It's okay. Can you see tiny that? Stones. Right, right. 
it's oh, actually yeah. it's actually the surface on this one now there's some that probably do have actual stones oh, in there so like you say stones. like a sprinkling of stones this is actually just the surface okay there. i didn't see i learned something too Let's see. <coughs> Oh, is, that a, is it a is it a cougar or a it looks to be a cougar it's either a cougar panther maybe or a panther because oh, it's yeah, a panther it might be a, a panther but i thought that was neat yes it's gorgeous a lot of, a lot of people will use these for wedding bands as well especially men you know do. that's that's really gorgeous very hi. Say hi uh, or thank you to just Sandy. She sent a ten dollars super chat. She says, "I have been making jewelry for forty one years and still learning. Thank you for sharing the info. Thanks, Sandy. We're all learners. <laughs> we are all learners. Yes. Rhonda knows a lot about jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You do. I know a lot about research. <laughs> I know how to research. I'm a good researcher usually. I wish I was a good researcher. That that is my. Uh, if I have one area that's not good for me, it's probably that. Probably because I don't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I'm a history buff. That's what I love. I'm a journalism major, but I always wrote. Um, Any time that I I was writing as a freelancer many years ago and all of that, I liked people's stories about themselves and their things, and so. I like that. that. Always made me really. Yeah, yeah. I just don't just look at it that it. way. I just <laughs> don't want to tell me what it is. And I don't want to dig for it. I, I understand that too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time to dig for a lot of it, so I'm glad that it comes naturally for me. This is another. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. And you see the ribbing on the sides here. This is the back of the ring. Wow, I like that piece a lot. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. I like it. It almost has an Egyptian look to it or something. You know, it's just got that, you know. And it's pretty. It's a nice size. It doesn't fit me like the crown one does. So I have to have the crown one. <laughs> but it's pretty. And this one what? is marked. Let's see. I think this one was more, maybe not. What's the stone on that one? Um, oh, an amethyst. If it's not, um, my jeweler will be able to tell me. I'm like Angie in that when I have volumes of things like this, I usually don't spend a lot of time, you know. Mm -hmm. I let them tell me what it is. That's what I, I Lonnie said harder with them to do. Lonnie said, I love how Rhonda knows it all without acting like I know it all. You're so humble. <laughs> I am. Aww. I that, very is one of, that is one of the sweetest things. Yes. Lonnie is a sweet guy. Well, I don't tear up. Don't you tear me up right here on this <laughs> program? All right. This one's smart 14 carat. Don't make Rhonda cry now. No, don't. It's messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got to subscribe her. Thank you to Nellie. She popped up in front of me and I can't see me. <laughs> oh, she All subscribed right. to you? Yeah, she just did. Thank you, Nellie. Nellie's I don't sweet. know if you can see it. It's a mark down here, but it's 14 carat on that one. We love Nellie. Yes. Hey, Nellie. I'm starting to learn people. Yes. Yeah, so Rhonda has a YouTube channel, you guys. It's called Got Junk in Our Trunk. So everybody go subscribe to her. And the link to her channel is down below in the description box, as well as Angie's Treasure yes. Vintage. And today is a special day for Angie, you guys. Yes. Today is her 20th wedding anniversary. Yay. That's yes. a big deal. Congratulations. It is a big deal. <laughs> it's a very big deal. Show them your flowers, and Angie. Having spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, she's cooking dinner. So sweet. Yes. Oh, they're beautiful. I have no idea what these little bean things are. I don't know, but they're sure cute. You know turn what? It to the side where I can see the front of it. Let's turn it like this. Turn it to the side. 
no, I don't know that leaf. I don't know what that is. I used to garden a lot too. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, those I are. Yeah, I to garden too. Yeah, I don't um, need they're, they're really. I do too. Well. Can't tell by my yard right now. It's awful. I'm working on jewelry. <laughs> I'm a gardener too, and I have no idea. Pretty though. Those are lovely. I like the spring mixes anyway when they come out. Thank like you to Blue Pearls 15 for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. These are for the animal lovers out there. I had to bring these out. I thought these were so cute. Uh-oh. I love the animal stuff. <laughs> Julie, these oh are earrings. Goodness. Aren't those oh, precious? Goodness. Those are so cute. They're so cute. They are so they look like they're big. Like little birds. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Are they marked? I haven't found a mark on them now. Do you and have should be. Is all of Tory Birch, is that always marked or somebody Laurel. can give me that information? I'm not sure. So Laurel Birch. I, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I said Tory. I don't know why I said Tory. I've got a couple of purses that have this same image on it and they are the Laurel Birch. Do you have Worth Point, Rhonda? I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have it, and then I've got a couple of different programs, you know, that are available mm -hmm. to estate liquidators. So, yeah, but that's so what it looks like to me. It's got that look. But aren't those cute? They are. They might go with that crown ring. I don't know. <laughs> Another ring. We had several rings in this one, but I thought these were pretty, so I went on and brought them out. But this appears to be a pink coral, maybe. Yeah, coral looks like. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. A pretty look. Very pretty. The side of the ring. Princess and then this Ash. one. Uh huh. Ask anyone know a good way to get scratches out of silver jewelry? On the silver jewelry? Mm -hmm. I don't often, I'm going to shock everybody. I often, even when I list it, I don't clean it unless it's got goop. I yeah, don't get I scratches don't. out. I don't do anything. I sell it just like it is usually. And I usually sell it for about what I would sell it for anyway. This one, I don't remember it being marked on this one, but it could be. I think I tested it actually. And it's, I believe it's 14 carat, if I remember right. Wow. That's cool. It's pretty, too. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of them with the big tops, you know, the statement style rings. Mm -hmm. Got this bracelet. And of course, it goes with all of the Navajo style jewelry. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I love the cuff bracelets. I'm a square dancer for anybody that watches my channel or doesn't. <laughs> I square dance, round dance, line dance, contra dance. We do all of it. I've done that for about 20 years. So and you can't wear a lot of jewelry. <laughs> but you can wear the cuff, the cuff uh, not necklaces, bracelets. And not usually get flung across the room. So, Is your like dance part cool? It's always full. <laughs> I am single and I've always had, I've always danced as a single dancer. And that's one thing about the uh, square dancing. It is done in couples, but you don't have to be a couple to dance. So it's mm -hmm. kind of interesting, you know, you can do it with eight other people and people are good about sharing their, sharing their husbands and sons and we all dance together. <laughs> This one's all, um, this one's marked sterling too. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's got a sterling mark. Let's I've see. got one similar to that. Well, it's a storyteller. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that what it's called, Angie? That's interesting. That have the little people and the teepees and the plants. and. Oh, the that's cool. Yeah. He's all around it. Yeah, they're called storytellers. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I haven't heard that term, so that's, that's good to know. Let's see. What else we have? This is my Rolex. Oh, is that it? Wow. 
very pretty. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, very pretty. Now, will you be keeping that or selling it? Oh, no, I'm going to sell. She has two Rolexes. And when I questioned her, you know, when we were talking about some different things, she wants a, a different tag watch. She has a, a business, interesting business. She's a marketer for a pottery. I believe it's a pottery guild. I may be misspeaking on that, but she does um, event planning and things like that for them. And so she has to wear bigger statement style jewelry and she's afraid she's going to tear these up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you get but, that one appraised yet? Not yet. Mm -mm. No, I've just I pulled all of this out of my bags yesterday. Prep for this show. I haven't even looked at. You need at to have that in a bank bank uh, safety box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, right. I want to put it on someone's arm. You can put it online. <laughs> just I know. Right? I'll wear it for you. For friend <laughs> mail. Oh, friend mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite the friend. That's the best friend meal. You know, right? That's right. Knowing this lady, she'd almost go, Oh, that's fine, honey. <laughs> <laughs> She's like that. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I hope I find the other one of these. Yes, she this did. is a smart swank. Oh, and, you wow. know, you can sell the swank. Not for millions of dollars, but it's a neat piece. It's a cuff length. Oh, yeah. You don't but find I love them. them. Stones in? Pardon? So. I don't find many with uh, covered with stones like that. So the blingy right. ones, yeah, right, Andy. Blingy I know. Ones, yeah. yeah, and they sell for a lot more. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Now you could just sell on Etsy mostly. Is that right, Angie? Is it exclusively Etsy? Yes, that's yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah, I've noticed that I can sell for about conservatively anywhere from seven to fifteen percent more on Etsy. Mm -hmm. And Poshmark. Poshmark, too. Yes. We have any other questions? Um, I noticed that Julie had told you what kind of flowers that was, Angie. Did you see that? I did. I, oh. I, I hear some berries. Okay. Something like hmm. that. Okay. I haven't heard that. Okay. Gosh, we're just learning all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, Julie works at a florist. Um, so oh, she, that's awesome. She makes wreaths and things, too. So um, oh, she's okay. very talented that way. She knows a lot about flowers and stuff. Oh, there's my new resource. Yeah. <laughs> Julie I, gather <laughs> I gather people. I gather people. She's very, uh, very good. She'll make you a wreath. She'll uh, sell you jewelry. She's a reseller. There you go. That's right. Um, we had another question from Electric Memories. Um, first of all, they say happy anniversary to Angie. And she says, speaking of jewelry marks, I just came across a beautiful silver tone necklace with CA mark on the chain and pendant. It's a choker style metal necklace. Any idea who CA is? Hmm. There, I think there's some kind of like a novel dictionary, not a dictionary, but like um, like a resource mm -hmm. that gives you the different marks of the um of the designer whoever that was that made it and you can okay. go figure out what yeah. the name is just put in jewelry identification it should bring up several sites that's how i i do it because there's no right. way i can know all of them yeah some of the most common maybe did I've she say got navajo did she say i think so oh okay this is a necklace it's got the a little starfish and this one let's see where is my starfish it's marked au turkey 14k and wow and it came on a, a necklace that i don't think fits it really so I'll probably sell it separately. It just the look didn't look right to me, although it's 14 karat too. So yeah, I love that. I totally Isn't wear that. that. Pretty? We're I'm beach girl. Me I'm too. I love the the I'm stuff. so beach. <laughs> <laughs> so beach. Unless I'm in Mountain View, Arkansas, listening to the bluegrass music. 
<laughs> my granddaughter and I sing bluegrass <laughs> and uh, perform sometimes. So. That sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. She's almost 10 and she's been singing since she was about six with the group. So. This one here, this is a listener. It's just a pretty little statement piece. Mm -hmm. That pretty moon glow. That's what I was thinking, Angie. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. I so need Angie and Tanya in my life. Oh. They'll tell me things like this. I really do because do it, you know, tell us things. Yeah. Right. Back of that, but I thought that was pretty. I like the ones that you put on and you go, pow. You know? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> now I've got these that I pulled out. Well, I can get them to stand up. Little earrings here. Like hammered silver. Yeah, they do look hammered. Mm -hmm. And then these are marked the RLM. They're Robert Lee Morris. I don't know if, can you see the marking on that? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever come across that designer. That's um. They he sells on QVC. Mm -hmm. oh, I have something in here right now. I forget what it is. Some of these you can sell for five dollars. Some will sell for on up to forty, fifty. You know, depends on what it is, what the design is. But I like the hammered look. Well, that. it's pretty. <laughs> Another ring. The, got the tiger eye that is so neat you know sometimes you can just oh, tell when it's a genuine piece right mm -hmm. and it's, that just looks exactly yeah you go by the heft of it you know how the weight is when you get ready it's just like the rolex watch you go by the heft first if you pick mm -hmm. it up and it doesn't have the right weight and it doesn't feel right in your hand put it back down because it's like a 60s 70s piece to me mm -hmm. i think 70s. so yeah mm -hmm. is it looks like tiger's eye yeah that's what it looks like to me yeah but it's this is the sign i mean i just can't get over the fact that they're getting rid of this stuff but for about three months and we'll go through it together we'll just run through it barefoot first okay <laughs> Be so much fun. <laughs> that would be well, <laughs> hippie running bare through the foot through the I, I wouldn't want to break <laughs> anything though. <laughs> Belinda has a question. Uh, Rhonda, is there anywhere in the Memphis area to get jewelry jars or bags? I'm visiting in Germantown. Oh, Ooh. you're not far from me. I live in South Haven, I'm just over the Mississippi line. Um, hmm. Out in Germantown, you could probably go to some of the Goodwills out there. They would have bags rather than, um, and today's half price day at, at uh, Salvation Army. So if you can hit any of the Salvation Armies, they're half price today. Today would be the day to go. Oh, yeah. Well, Even that's very cool. Yeah, Wednesdays this they one. have uh, Senior Days Wednesday at Goodwill. Mm hmm I've got a place called Park Avenue Thrift that's here, and they do it kind of like Salvos does, as we call them. Um, they do half price. I go to the bins, though. I, 94 to 95 percent of my shopping is done at the bins, so I do a lot of clothing online right now. I love that one uh, video you had. Well, they brought out a bin of bins. I know. I was shocked, and they did it again last week. I'm like, seriously. <laughs> Go Ooh, away. Awesome. Put the real stuff in there. I guess people need those, you know. It was so yes. funny. That was funny. <laughs> a bin of bins? A bin of bins. It was all these little blue bins, like stackable bins, you know, <laughs> that you would use for tools and, you know, stuff. I'll have to go watch it. <laughs> Let's see. 
This one is just a, I don't think this one was marked. I wrote it down if I found a mark. Oh yeah, it was. Let me look. Let me show you the ring first. So you can ooh and off. Ooh, oh, oh I'm ooh and on. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Well, um, you keep changing her mind about what she wants, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want that one. I want that one. But that's pretty. Oh, is that it must be a wedding ring, huh? That's what I thought, and I thought, well, it's even big for a wedding ring. So, is it a CZ or is it a diamond? I'm thinking it's probably a CZ. My diamond tester went by the wayside a while back, and I really need to get another one. I don't have one. I yeah, I'm I dealing do. with a lot of jewelry now, so. Mine beats at everything now. Oh, does it really? <laughs> I don't know. I need a new one or replace the battery or something. It knows you get so excited when it does that. <laughs> it, <laughs> it does. does it like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to see this one. That's what it was. That's why I didn't have the mark. It's got a mark inside, but I can't see what it is on the round. I don't know. Y'all might can see it on camera that I couldn't see. Let's see. It's right in here. So I'm not really sure. I haven't, I don't think I tested this one if I remember right, but it's got some kind of mark in here. So I'll go through and I test it. Of course, everybody's got all their little, their little bottles and things, you know. Oh, yeah. All your ring sizers. You know. I've got a bar somewhere too. Not yeah. the drinking. Oh, I appreciate like it. all my subscribers. Thank you so much. Yes, I love those. Make sure on the China, if anybody gets one that's made in China or whatever, the ring sizes are off a little bit. I think uh, oh, if I remember really? right, I read that they're off by like the next markdown or something like that. You'll need, I'll, I'll try and remember to comment about that. I can't remember what the deal was. I've got one that was made oh. in America. So you do need to watch that because it's going to. I have the same thing you have, Tanya. I hope ours isn't off. I use that all yeah. the time. Well, if yeah, it I'm is, not... you know, you'll just accommodate it. You know, I mean, you can still use that. You just need to add a mark or take away one. I can't remember which it is. I'll look. But I have These no idea if mine was made in China or not. <laughs> My mantle. Yeah, has it been a while since you bought it? Yeah, it's been a good while. Yeah. I have no, I've got no complaints about my ring sizes. Uh, on Etsy, so I'm yours thinking. is probably accurate. Then, yeah. yeah, I just go on that it's accurate, mm -hmm. <laughs> or put your own ring on it and see how accurate it is. These I need some work up here, but these are cute. They're sterling. Oh yeah, turquoise. Like I said, she had a lot of the Native American type things. Marie these says, Rhonda, would you let us know? what the big stone is when you know. I, think I the sure marquee, will. The marquee stone, I think she was talking I about. I sure that. will. It may be from a bubble gum machine. We don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little better than that. I doubt it, but. <laughs> <laughs> we have any other questions? Oh, Adam just got a super chat. Thank, Thank you, Adam. Adam. Thank he you, says, Adam. thanks, Tanya, Angie, Rhonda. Happy anniversary, Angie. Thanks, Adam. Now, I've got three more pieces that I've just pulled out. I can pull others out if we need to go longer, or, but I've tried to do about an hour. I'm having fun looking at your jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing else to do today, do we? <laughs> Let's see, this one. I wrote it down so that I didn't have to dig around and find my marks on things. So this one I believe is March silver, March sterling. Here. It's just a simple little. And I like to wear these like if you put on the cuff bracelet that I can get away with wearing something like this. You know, as a double when I do that square dancing thing I oh, do yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't wear a lot of jewelry in the work that I'm in because it catches on too many things and I lose my good jewelry if, if that happens. That and I buy dollar uh, reading glasses because I lose them everywhere. Yeah, 
then we've got this one. Let's see. This is just a frame. Again. Let me pull it up where you can see. The class that's on it. It's marked Myler, Myler, Italy. The 925 on it. And again, that can be worn, you know, with a cuff bracelet or whatever, but of course it snaps over the top. Angie, didn't you just sell some gold earrings by that designer? Yeah, guess what? They were, they're returning them. Oh, oh, no. Here's a cautionary tale. Um, my pictures were probably so good. I'm, I'm not saying they were so good, but what I'm saying is that the colors turned out really good on them. They were those tricolor quilted hoops. They were Mylar, Italy, or Milor, or however you say that. And uh, the colors, of course, I wanted the colors to show because they were tricolor. And when she got them, she, she thought that the colors were kind of washed out. Well, I guess my, my pictures probably showed them brighter than they actually were, you know. So, hmm. yeah, the brightness you can't do much about. <laughs> I think from now on, when I have an item like that, I'm going to put on my description uh, colors vary from monitors, different monitors, and different devices. Because, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, I hated having to take those back, but of course I'm going to. But dang it, $218. Wow. Right. Yeah, wow. that hurts. Oh well. Raise the price and put them back up again. Yeah, I think <laughs> somebody will buy them, and I'll I'll redo those. Mm -hmm. Try to get them uh, good as far as the color. This is funky. Oh, that's cool! I love that. That's cool. <laughs> I love, I love, it. love yeah. it. What is awesome. that substance? The the what's the body made of? It almost looks like some type of enamel or something. I'm not real sure. I'm going to get my jeweler to look at it. It, I mean, it's just a cheap little, you know, statement necklace or whatever, I think, you know, from the back of it, from what it looks yeah. like. Cool, though. It's well made. Very, yes. very cool. I don't know that it's, you know, that cheap. Well, it well it's not a $3,000 necklace, let's put it that way. No, it's it not is. like the other things you showed. <laughs> <laughs> it's but this is what it came on, you know, so it'll, it'll really hang. Funny. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I feel like that, like, figural type animal jewelry like that was really popular, like, in the 50s and 60s. What do y'all mm -hmm. think? Mm hmm I think so. And when the psychedelic era came in in the 70s and stuff, they kind of switched it more abstract. Yeah. Yeah. So Barb sent us a super this chat, you guys. $5. Thank you so much, Barb. She says, will you give us a discount at your estate sales? <laughs> <laughs> I sure will. Uh -huh. I take it. A lot of times I'll have um, resellers come in and they'll buy in volume. I do. I do what they call a box and bundle sale or what I call a box and bundle sale, which is odd. A lot of times when you go into an estate situation, estate sale, they price pretty much everything. If you go to many estate sales, you'll see tags on everything. I tag the large dollar items and the large items, physically large items like furniture, things like that. The rest of it, I put up white tables and they drag it all to the tables and then I make them one price on it. Yeah, that's how we get I rid like of all of the household and everything, just like a yard sale, except it's at estate sale prices. So. Right, because when you put up those signs that say like ten dollars for bracelets and eight dollars for brooches, I mean that's intimidating. People aren't going to scoop up a lot of stuff, but if you do it the way you're doing it, I feel like you're definitely going to sell and move a lot more stuff that way. You really do, and I mean I've I've gone in. The common thing for me to do is to go in and. Uh, give a bid on the job, you know, and it, and I was discussing before we came on that it's not a traditional bid. I'm not bidding against other people, but I give them a quote on what it will cost for me to come into the home and all of that. And when I do that, then I tell them this is the type of sale that I have. And when I process the estate, mm -hmm. it's usually anywhere from three weeks to six weeks, depending on how much volume or density is in the home. And I pretty much touch everything. We flip all the books open, make sure nothing falls out of it. We pull the drawers out. We look, you know, 
like in jewelry boxes, like the freestanding jewelry boxes. I, I dig down through there, you know, make sure there's no earring backs and things like that, you know, and then we sell that piece or whatever. So I've pretty much been through everything. So if Angie or Tanya or someone comes up and they've brought a pile of things up there, it's not like I'm not going to know how much they're worth. I've already been through it and I've already looked things up and, you know, right. if it was things that I needed to know some information on. Well, when you come up, if, if, if you as a shopper come up to my sale and you see prices on things, you're not going to create any communication as an estate liquidator with that customer if they come up and go, oh, well, that's too high and they walk off. But if they bring a pile over there and they've brought it from upstairs and the garage and everything else, it chances are they're not going to want to put it back. Now, they might negotiate a little bit of a price and that goes back to the discount question. I will take it off of my commission sometimes. Yeah, if I yeah. think I can get it sold for the customer, I'll take a little bit less commission on mine and I'll just make a note in the inventory on that. Yeah, that way my customer good. gets what they want, you know. <laughs> Right. It sounds like you're the best in your area, Rhonda, which well, is why you probably I would, stay busy. <laughs> I would hope that I would be uh, very good at what I do. I've, I've done a variety of things. I've catered and owned a cleaning company for 25 years. I was gospel singer for eight years. I've done a lot of different things, but this is the thing that I enjoy the most because I feel like it helps the family and I just happen to make a living at it. So, yes, I've, I've always That's enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, that was my last piece. I can pull some others out if anybody wants that, or I can answer questions. We yeah, have a question. Have a question. Go ahead, Angie. This is Barb's you were going to ask? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Barb, going on Grumpy S, what is the weirdest thing you have found in the weirdest place? A shrunken head and an attic. <laughs> Okay, that came right to that. That didn't even, you didn't even mm -hmm. have to think. It was mm -hmm. right there. Were you traumatized? <laughs> no, not really, because I go in looking for rats anyway. <laughs> so, you know, oh when you're up, the, up in the attic, wow. you have to be careful, you know, about things anyway. Again, I owned a cleaning company for, for 25 years. I did crime scene cleanup, I did all kinds of things. I've had worse under my fingernails than most people have had, you know, in their lifetime. What do you think and is going on? I have to be shrunken head. Well, I kind of looked and then I thought, well, you know, it may be that they traveled or that they had a family member that traveled or something like that. And that's exactly what it was. It was something that they had brought back as a souvenir. Oh. You know, they had bought it in Nairobi or something like that. But then definitely I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's here. <laughs> Okay, we I always have to think of Beetlejuice. <laughs> I've, you know, I've found a variety of things over the years. I've, I had the cleaning company for 25 years, and I worked in the state field for my clients at the time, for my cleaning customers at the times. So if mom passed away or they got to a downsized situation or something like that, that's how they started using me because I'm a professional organizer by trade. That's how all that business, the cleaning business and everything started. And so they knew that I was organized. I would go in there and all of that. And then it just kind of developed from there to where I am now. So I've seen a lot of things <laughs> over the years, you know, in 25 years, you see a lot of things. Uh, probably the second most interesting thing was something that I had to um, call the police over. We found um, a stash of weed up in the attic. Wow. Again, uh, grandson had moved into the house and the grandmother had no idea. And all of that was up there. And of course, we can't resell it. And, you know, it's something that I do have to turn in. So, and it was a big stash and I'm talking about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So what did the grandma say? She said, oh my goodness, I didn't know he's been gone for whatever it was, six or eight months, a year, whatever it was. And she had no idea because she couldn't climb the stairs. And he oh. knew that. So that's oh. why he put that up there, you know, so. I said, well, unfortunately, I've got to turn this in. Uh, I said, fortunately for you, it's not yours. <laughs> so, and so we called the police over there and I spoke on her behalf. Well, that's good that she didn't get in any kind of trouble. Oh, no. Well, she was one of my cleaning customers that I was doing an estate for. So. Oh, Vicki Olson just turned up. Hi, Vicki. We're almost hey, done. We're just two minutes to go probably and we're done <laughs> well i just 
I'm so excited. This was so much fun, Rhonda, and I definitely love to have you back on again. Um, the pieces that you showed were some of the finest pieces of real jewelry, you know, that I've I've ever seen for sure. Um, and I think that what you're doing is a lot of fun. And I would just, if it were me, I would be sitting there. I would be having so much fun going through all of that. <laughs> oh, it, it is. A it's a lot of fun. And I just, you know, I'm 57, going to be 58 at the end of the month. And I learned something brand new in this business all the time. And the jewelry part of it is something that that's, that's something that I need to beef up on myself. I know some, I know enough. Um, but I, I just enjoy that. I can be in the type of business and I'm sure that we all can say this, that we're in the type of business that it keeps our minds strong. It keeps, um, you know, the worries away, you know, because we get to focus on other things or whatever, and that we're just constantly learning, but that we're also teaching. And I think that that's really important for resellers. You know, Let me, I've got one more thing I want to show you. My mother, I asked my mom, would she like to come over for Mother's Day uh, Sunday? And I'll show Tanya and especially Tanya. Now she's going to faint, Angie. So you're going to have to close out the program. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to absolutely faint if I can get this held up. Hold on a minute. This is a big taco or something. This is one bag that she gave me. What is it? What is it? I told my mom she could go through this jewelry with me. It's all of this that we've got to go through. Oh my god. That's from this time of state. Oh, I was about to ask. That was gonna be my next question. <laughs> and we've got this bag. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? It is full of jewelry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if these people were professional like robbers or something. Where do they get all this jewelry? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't find any weed yet, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> But I told my mother, I said, we'll go out and we'll have Mexican food after, but you can help me sort this jewelry and pair up oh, all of the jewelry. That sounds like my kind of all day. Of that jewelry so and you Mexican fly food? In, you, can come, you can come work with it. What could be better? No, I know. I we're going to have a, a nice Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, y'all are for sure. So yeah. Adam says, can we close out the show with a little singing, uh, gospel singing from Rhonda? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does she have a request? I'll sing with you. Will the circle be on? How about Amazing Grace? We know Amazing Grace, right? Do that too, yeah. I'm an alto, so I'm going to be way down here, and I'm dealing with pollen and all of that. But you get this. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Twas blind. Now I see. Oh, we wow. That. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for He's what it's all singing. about, y'all. <laughs> He's what it's all about. You guys about. are good singers. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, do we have any last parting words, Angie or Rhonda? Here's something. <laughs> Ooh, what is oh, yeah, that? your jewelry. Let's talk about it. Yes. Let me get it on me so I can see. Oh, I just, this is just something uh, that I put together today because from that pendant lot that I got recently. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think it might need oh, a, yes. a little longer chain, but it's pretty. I like cool. it like that. I like that length. And then these. Oh, those are pretty. I pretty yeah. love those. These were These actually gorgeous. Kim's, Kim's lot. Oh, oh really? yeah, they were from Kim's. Very so, pretty. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, I want to remind everybody that the links for Angie and uh, Rhonda's YouTube channel are in the description box down below. And we are definitely going to have Rhonda on again. Yes. 
I would love to come on again. Love sure. that. A lot of fun. And I want to say thank you to everyone for joining us in the chat and for all the super chats today, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And um, we will see you in the next show. Next week, we're going to have Barb on from Going On Grumpy. Yay. Next Yay. Tuesday at 11 a.m. We'll see you guys there. Thanks so much for joining. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.